Hello everyone, it's Emilia here. Welcome to my channel and to a new video. Excuse my husky voice today, I haven't been very well recently, but I'm getting much better. In this video I want to show you how to create paper poinsettia flowers. These are super gorgeous flowers. I had a similar video in the past, but the technique is pretty the same and maybe slightly improved, so I want to share that today with you. So let's start with the products you may need. I will be using poinsettia set from Lady E Design. You don't have to use the same um, dye. If you have a similar five petal poinsettia flower, the result should be very similar to mine. So let's die cut a lot of layers. I used watercolor paper is 160 GSM. You will also need water, a tool with a small ball at the end to shape the flowers and also a tool to make a hole in the flowers, some inks to color your flowers. I will be using archival ink for stamping and also a stamp to give a nice interesting detail to my flower and another ink, this is Distress ink in photo vintage color to add a color in the center of the flowers. Apart of that you will also need some stamens and embossing mat and uh, foam. This is the uh, like the, this will be a sandwich which we will use underneath the flowers while shaping them. I always start with adding color to my flowers. I like to have a, a little bit of color in the center and on end of some uh, petals. I'm not adding a color to each petal, but definitely in the center. And the color combination for these flowers can be, as you uh, imagine, whatever you want. I uh, like to make them in blue and black. I also make them red and green. So for example, I can have a green center and then a little bit of red at, uh, on the petals or red center and a little bit of green on the petals or blue center with a touch of black on the petals, whatever you want. The next step will be to add stamping. I have a very old stamp. This is Penny Black. It's a script stamp. I just love it. It has so much detail. It's, it's just very beautiful. I know that this stamp is uh, still available. I will try to link it below the video. But you can use any other uh, stamp with a small detail, maybe music notes. I used music notes in the past and it looked nice as well. Uh, or any other like writing or I don't know, maybe dots would be nice as well. Now I'm going to uh, put my flowers upside down on the mat and spray them with water. I'm not adding a lot of water, just a few uh, spring sprinkles on each petal, on each layer. Uh, I have them upside down because I, I will be shaping from that side. It's good that this side will absorb the water and also it prevents from the distress ink to um, like move a lot on the petal because remember if you are using these stresses and then you will spray it with the water they will just the ink will just flow on your paper that's why it's important for stamping to use a waterproof ink now i'm going to shape the flowers you need to shape them while they are wet if they're not wet the, it will be difficult to move the tool on the petals. I'm starting from the pointy top uh, of the pointy eight of the petal 
and going across it to the center just create it like a vine and then I'm going to create one smaller vine from the side to the center on both sides uh, on each petal this is for the smaller petals so one line in the center from the top to the center then one line from the like s s center of the side <laughs> to the center of <laughs> oh my god anyway i'm sure you'll see what i'm doing i sometimes i don't have enough words to explain it but for the bigger petals i will be creating one line in the center and then two lines on each side of that uh, centered line and then i place the flower upside down and press in the center for the center you could use a bigger tool a bigger ball or uh, a pencil a pen something you know bigger to press that and then i put them on the side to dry i usually leave the flowers to dry you know on their own but if I'm in a rush like today, I just place them in the metal bowl and use a heat gun. Now it's time to make a hole in each layer. If the flowers are dry, it's very easy to make a hole. If you will find it slightly difficult, that may mean they're not dry yet. I like to choose a combination of the stamens i have white and brown here for the bigger flowers i usually use about seven stamens for a smaller about five i uh, make them equal on one side place the wire in the center of the stamens fold them over the wire and then fold the wire this way i can put them through the layer the wire will keep them all together before pulling the stamens uh, to the bottom of the layer, I'm adding a little bit of glue and then pulling the stamens just to um, and kind of slightly shaping the flower and squashing it from the bottom. For my first flower, I'm going to use three layers. The first one is a smaller one, then two layers of the same size. This will be the biggest flower I'm making. Here I'm trying to not to overlap the petals with the previous layers. So uh, while adding another layer, I'm positioning the petals and adding a small dot of a glue between the layers. This way I will be sure that the stamens are in place and then that the layer will not Now I'm going to create two layer flowers, two layers of the same size. This time I have five stamens and the same technique, pulling the stamens through the center, adding a little bit of glue from the top. But here also be careful because while you're pulling the stamens down, the glue can go on the other side. That's why I try to keep my fingers slightly away from the bottom of the flower. So I'm adding another layer and uh, positioning the petals so they no, do not overlap. And then the last flower I'm creating today, this is only one layer and this is um, they are really nice for filling any gaps in the composition one layer looks lovely as well 
and this will be it for today i hope you will like the video and you will try that technique the flowers always look amazing i made many different uh, colors in the past and uh, really it's a simple technique and always works so i want to thank you very very much for watching and for coming back to my channel for all the comments i receive as well and have a lovely creative day bye bye